All right, lots three and four. Uh, litter mate uh, uh, Red Bear is here, 59 litters. Uh, this would be a sow we own with Austin. Uh, she's done uh, a lot of big-time things. This is her last litter. Uh, she's, uh, she's done an awesome job for us and, uh, recently raised, uh, last year raised the champion guilt there at, uh, San Antonio stock show, the champion Duroc guilt. And then, uh, um, in 2022, she raised the champion Duroc bear at, uh, at Denver. So she's, she's done some big time things, raised the reserve red for, uh, Hayden's in 2022 at uh, Louisville, uh, guilts and bears that have bred on. We've got daughters and granddaughters and, uh, uh, good time things here, uh, a, a real barrow maker as well, and that's what we've got here in, in the 59s. And they're sired by Deadliest Catch. Uh, Deadliest Catch is a uh, piranha son. It's actually a piranha back on Creation's mom. Uh, boar we bought online there with Frank Kobiak uh, um, there uh, a year ago. And I've uh, got a couple litters out of him and uh, really, really like that pig. He had a rough life but uh, fit this sow extremely well. So we're going to start with uh, 59-1. And uh, uh, that pig there is uh, uh, is going to be the, uh, the the lighter heighted one of the two, uh, not not pale by any means, but just to uh, show him apart. And he's one that's uh, really really good in terms of his shape and his dimension. Uh, he's a stout headed hog that's still really opened up underneath, coming and going uh, in terms of feet and legs and feet placements. Good. Uh, he's a hog that's going to have some meat and muscle to him, but still have a neat kind of a look coming out from that deadliest catch in piranha. Uh, good, useful kind of a hind leg, and I think one that uh, uh, you want to feed him a little bit harder. I think you can get him to a, a middleweight kind of setting there in January. If you want to get him to February, I think he's a, a big, burly heavyweight that's big enough in his type and kind uh, that's going to have bone, that's going to have structure, looseness, and flexibility and still be a power kind of a hog. Uh, that bear there reminds me quite a bit of that Denver pig there a couple years ago in terms of uh, having some preven still uh, but still being dense and stout. And he's going to have some extras in terms of muscularity and power. Still could jackpot that one uh, extremely hard as well. Lot four is going to be 59-2, and this one here is probably the uh, uh, the one that maybe takes the most after deadliest catch in terms of look from the side. He's really tall fronted. Uh, he's a neat looking kind of a pig that uh, uh, that uh, always has a, a good kind of a presence that matches with stoutness and, and moderation. And I think he's one that's going to have a natural rib shape and body uh, like his brother. Uh, not maybe as far along in his muscle pattern, but I think one you could feed on looks like he could be that uh, 300 pound bear that's a that's a powerhouse in terms of having enough length aside still having some muscle some structure he's square underneath and good on his feet and legs i think a really good kind of a feeding pig there and i like this pair quite a bit a little different in their types and kinds that feed your fitting window but uh, uh in your feeding window but i think uh, this pair of pigs a lot of confidence in the pedigree on both sides